All right, what's up everybody? Let's see what I got here. Okay, so this is what I've been working with. These are all these gears. This is the CRV transmission housing, clutch housing. Mm, these will be the requirement to modify a, uh, what's gonna call it? Um, H22 gears into a CRV using either a 4.0 final drive or a 4.2 final drive okay so these are the requirements that you will need to source out you will need to get a CRV transmission if you already have one you will need to find a D2A4 these are out of a 90 91 Honda Prelude these only the 90 91 Prelude D2 A4 comes with a 4.2 final drive the Accord 9091 LX EX comes with a 4.0 final drive the only reason why you got to get these is because of this bearing they are discontinued so 4.2 and 4.0 Accord Prelude 2.0 SI. This over here is an H22. The reason why you need to source either those two, either 4.0 or 4.2, it's because of this bearing right here. These are the only bearings that you could use to go into the CRV housing so as you can see this is a CRV this these two are either the Prelude 9091 or 9091 Accords these are the only two bearings that you could use in here without using the H22 and boring that hole out to fit this okay some people will do this hone that out to fit this bearing but if you can source these two bearings out of the Accord and 9091 Prelude, you could use either. This one is ready. Um, I'm using the 4.2, so this is actually off a the Prelude. This is actually the 4.0 out of the Accord. Okay. See, so this is the one you will need. This bearing right there, and this drive line. The I mean, uh, counter shaft. Okay, so this is out the way. That's what I'm gonna be using in the CRV housing. Okay, now on to the next part is hold on, hold on. the CRV final drive. The offset on the inside, the gear, the ring gear, it's off. I mean, it's it sits different from these guys. As you can see, let me see if I can get the light. You see how it's like, it's like almost halfway in there. The CRV one, it sits more closer to this end because of the transfer case gear. So what I did was I took that out. So this is just a, um, like right here, you can see this is a CRV one. Um, I needed this to eyeball on these guys, but I, this is just the um, gear that I messed up a while ago. This is a 4.5, 6. This is a H22, 4.2, and a Accord 4.0. All these right here, they all fit each other. But there's also a modification that you will need to do. So, like these two right here is either a Accord or prelude or h22 this one is a crv look at that you can see the the offset on it even though the table these guys are the same height the crv one sits lower due to this okay so when you put it in it'll come up to place where these bolt will not hit the bottom of first gear what I did was move this out the way. Okay, let's get those out the way. Um, 
get one of these guys out the way. You can use either one of these, 4.0, 4.2. I'm using a 4.2, which is right here. This is the one I'm using, the 4.2 out of 9190, 91 Prelude 2.0 SI. That one, okay. Let's move that out the way. Move these guys over. This is the H22 diff that I am using. You can use these guys too. So the modification I did was this. All right, let's put the CRV one right next to it. So CRV offset, it sits lower. Okay. Well, you know, my table's kind of off, but you get the idea. This is how this one used to look like. You see this area. Let me see if I can focus. You see these this lip right here. Whoop, let's focus. That lip right there. What you could do is send this to a machine shop and have them hone this out halfway till it meets this. Or lower, you just need enough material. But what I did was I just took a grinder to it. And then I moved it down. See how so I moved it down. The reason why is because if you don't move it down and shave the head bolt on this guy, it will touch first gear. Okay, so out the CRV. So this is the only modification. This is the modification that you have to do with this one. What I also did was cut that out so I needed a spacer so I cut that out flip this upside down. oh oh yeah I, I totally forgot you gotta drill these holes out too because they're threaded like these guys they're threaded they're left left hand threaded um, what I did was I, I'm using this diff all right where's my other here's my 4.2 final drive See if I can get this on there with one hand. Alright, there's my hand around. So, there we go. That's on there. Let's move these guys off to the side too. Let's pull the CRV over. All right. Now this sits flush with that. Without the spacer, you put this on. The offset is off. That's why you will need a spacer. Which I am using this off of that. I didn't grind anything down on this. It's a little, sits a little bit taller, but it's very, very, very little. There we go. Put that spacer on. Put this on. Look at that. Bam. It's almost close. Actually, it's like very, very close. And then the other good part about shaving this area down it's it's less material now and these bolts will reach that guy because you're these this is what uses to thread um also they are hub centric you can see it's kind of moving around what i'm doing is also i went to autozone or you know whatever it is got me some filler gauges I got two packed uh, I'm gonna find the right ones I'm gonna shove it inside of here like that two same size so it could be center correctly um, yeah so this is out the way now that's if you get the idea on that that's how you do it with this um, a lot of people they modify the the LSD out of the H22 to do it but 
you could use these guys too. They're just trying to do the cheapest way in my backyard. Um, the other thing is using the H22 gears. This right here is the H22 main shaft. I didn't touch any of that stuff right there. Let's go back to these guys. So let's pull this one. This one is the Accord 2.0. This one is the H22. This one is the CRV. I'm already using that because I already done the gears on there. These guys are shorter. This guy and that guy is shorter. Very little. You can see this. Very little. CRV. Remember how CRV's got that? Well, let's take that out because we don't need that no more. Slide that over. Look how identical those, those things almost are. So what I really did was I just lit all the gears off of the H22. And then slid it onto one of these drive line, uh, counter shaft right here, which this one is the cord 4.0. I'm not using the 4.0. I'm using the, the 4.2. Bam. That's it right there. Right there. So I'm going to put all of these stuff together. I'm going to press this bearing back in here so I could put that back in there and show you guys how it really looks like so back again what you need to do is find one of these bearings right here from a 1991 prelude 2.0 SI or a 1991 Accord only though that year works okay guys you can't get to the new one because once you go to the newer models they run the same size as the H22s, so you cannot fit that in there. Cut one of these for a spacer. Shave this down to the bottom of the lip right there. Or you just take it to a machine shop, machine it. I did it in the backyard as cheap as I can. You could do it a little bit better or however you guys want to do it. I'm not responsible for it. What you guys are doing, I'm only doing it for me, and I'm only showing you guys a little bit of how I do it. So, do at your own risk. And uh, let me see if I can get this thing um, put together and then show you guys how it really looks like after I'm done. All right, let me get back to you guys. All right, so back at it again. I got the transmission back together, as you can see. This is the modify um, diff. This is where the problem is before. I don't even know if you could even see that. To be honest, sorry about the light. See how the um, the bolt right there, right there it is. You see how it sits a little lower than the first gear now. Well, once this goes into the housing. This counter shaft is going to move up into the little clip. So it'll give it a little bit more room. The reason why this has to get shaved, like I was saying, is the CRV. It's got a different offset. As you can see, see? The offset of, on the ring gear and the diff, it's, it's a little off. I mean, like, it sits a little bit on, on a different spot. So there it is. This using the 4.2 final drive I think you could use even I might have to try it later using a B series LSD and doing the same thing and then just use this I think if you just do one time spacer one time bearing and you could use it for any all the other transmission when you try to hybrid it that's the H22 reverse I remember just grabbing out of the box just put it on earlier I had put the housing on already put the transfer case on it checked it out and it looks it 
it's uh it's on there so this counter shaft is a 9091 prelude 4.26 final drive and then this whole main shaft right here it's all h22 like literally i didn't even have to change anything of this these guys they fit right up to it Let's see these are all just crv stuff this is the counter shaft is the only thing that i changed and i just have to modify these just to make it work so now i can run later on down the road i can run either a 4.0 or 4.2 and i was lucky enough i picked up another prelude transmission down here which is a d2a4 991 prelude 4.2 so i'll just utilize that you utilize you use that later on down the road and these are all the gear damn it i screwed it all up now i gotta go figure it out mm. and yeah that's how i just modified my crv 4.2 4.56 into a 4.2 using h22 gears and i i have a m2y4 that's actually got a longer fourth and a longer fifth i believe so if i was to use a 92 96 it will have a shorter first which is a 3.307 or something like that compared to a 3.285 uh 9701 prelude so i want to use a longer first gear and then you can't when you're using the first and second with this you can't change these two gears but you can also change third, fourth, fifth. So whichever one you want to use, B series, H series, you can use that and use three, four, five. You know, make it shorter, make it longer, however you guys want to do it. But yep, that's how I was able to do it. So stay tuned. I'll see if uh, I will be putting it in my car because I have a 4.56 using b series gears so i was using the speed factory uh setup on that i blew the, the ring gear out which is this one a couple of weeks ago um i had a modified a uh, needle bearing for it so i was trying to avoid that in the long run so i'm just trying to figure out how to make a longer final drive and use that for my turbo build um hope you guys enjoy this and uh stay tuned I'll update on some more videos later on down, down the road for you guys. Have a good one.